Hello, I'm Andrew and today I'm going to review the GVC AXZ 1010TN TN stands for Titanium, that's the receiver and a matching tuner, the FX 1010TN and both of these items, <laughs> first they are very rare and they are qualitative, very 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 good the tuner is top of the line. The tuner is one of the best tuners ever built. It, well, the thing is, it's a five gang tuner, and well, just go on Google and you see what others written about this very nice tuner. And but the top of this two piece set is this receiver because well, I always read reviews before I buy something, before I score something, and the reviews of this. GVC AXZ 1010 well they were very promising but believe me or not I don't believe it before I tested it out myself because often I read that it was very good and I, I read a lot of positive reviews on the internet and finally when I scored the thing well the thing is not as good as I expected or as I read on the internet so but this thing well this thing really it, it the sound is just fantastic really according to me there is no better sound than this GVC receiver and to be honest I scored this thing very cheap you know I didn't pay a lot of money for this thing because the guy who was selling it probably didn't know what he was selling and uh, he didn't know the value of the thing and I had the same thing I thought well okay I buy the thing I will test it and uh, we will see because well look at this it doesn't look that impressive but once you turn on this knob this magic knob and you turn on this knob yeah the thing will come alive and when it comes alive well let me tell you what this thing have. As you can see, it have a digital in one, two, and digital monitor, that monitor, okay. And for example, you put a CD player on digital one, and you push this thing in, and then one of the three, you see it here, 32 kilohertz, 44 kilohertz, or 48 kilohertz will come in front and it will show you what your device, your digital device, what kilohertz it is playing at. Okay, and that's very nice, it's a very nice thing. But I didn't connect any digital input uh, device because I'm a tuner lover and for now I will test this thing on tuner and I will test this thing on my MP3 player. And well, the thing is looking very very nice it is titanium color and well i earlier reviewed uh, another big heavy gvc player uh, if you go through my videos and section gvc you will see that uh, receiver and also that receiver sounds very good but this one sounds better this one sounds better i don't know why it sounds better but it simply sounds much better so as you can see you have here the remote sensor and the thing comes with two remote controls one for the tuner and one for the receiver but with the one from the receiver you can well you can handle all the options but if you don't have a receiver like this only the tuner with another amplifier you can use the tuner remote control anyway i will not show you how this remote control works that's not important i will tell you something about this sound and well here you have one or two speaker connection you can play them both i connect on both speaker connection I connect speakers because I just bought new speakers and uh, these are the audio monitor you can see them here audio monitor R6 and these speakers are very highly reviewed and but I will not 
play those. Yeah, I, I will play those a little bit to show you, to let you hear those speakers. I will review those speakers later in another review. But for now, I will play most of this review will go through my old Magnat 05 because those speakers are still better and the best I ever had. And they sounds better than this new highly reviewed audio monitor R6 speakers. I cannot play them both together because I think the audio monitor speakers are 8 ohm and my Magnats are 4 ohm uh, so I can only play them separate. It is always dangerous to play 4 and 8 ohm together on the same amp so think about it. When you have a very expensive receiver never put in one channel 8 ohms and in the other channel 4 ohms. Yeah use 8 ohms and 8 ohms or 4 ohms and 4 ohms don't use different kinds of ohms okay when you play both speakers okay i will not play them both i will play them separate then you have the cd the line in line one line two line three phono and the phono is also nice your phono you can switch on the back between mm or mc elements okay you have dot or tape one dot two and of course here you have the digital inputs if you want to play digital if you want to play digital direct you just have to push this knob yes you can see it will turn on but we will not use that and it have a bass control it doesn't have a high control a treble control it doesn't have a mid control well you cannot make depth with your mids and your treble or you can push the treble back you know and that's the only thing i miss but really this thing really sounds terrific so let me show you how this tuner sound because this is one of the best tested tuner ever and uh, well i think gvc you know, GVC was a company who always make things different than the competition. And, well, if you go back in the past, you see in my reviews, for example, uh, the 401. And that was a receiver who didn't look like every other receiver at the time. It was a 1978 receiver. And, well, every receiver GVC brought out was different. And also this one. I was looking to this one and I didn't expect much from it you know I always go from well I buy the thing and I will see how the thing sounds and I will review for you guys and so you know what this thing is but believe me <laughs> this thing is really it is fun if you buy something like if you like the modern stuff you know I think you cannot buy a sound like this below 3000 euro at the moment you cannot buy it it's impossible this sound is really let me show you let me try out speaker 2 connection these new highly <laughs> reviewed speakers and you heard me laughing because I didn't I don't think these speakers are so good but yeah who am I i 
Et pour les élèves, il y aura des absents Lorsque je serai plus belle Seminole tribe that is in uh, or Seminole nation. Uh. Tweedy, where Wayne Kemp and Curtis Wayne, the songwriters from Josh Strait. Try switching back to my magna speaker. Listen to the difference. And that's why after over 25 years I still love my old magnats. Yeah. Yeah. The sound of my tuner, this nice looking tuner. As you can see, this is how the thing looks. Very beautiful. And as you can see here, program, monitor, stop level. Okay. And always GVC have the most beautiful layout. Very nice. And <laughs> well, for today I will show you or I will put my mp3 player on and my mp3 player will play today songs from Fania All Stars and well as you all know uh, salsa is my favorite music I am a salsa lover Pushang and salsa is what I most of the time play and I love those Latin uh, songs and not only salsa but chata and meringue they are my favorite too but salsa is my favorite from all those latin songs and well before fenia all stars there was no salsa yeah you had latin you know latin melodies but that was not salsa and this guy this johnny paseco well this guy this guy had such a it was such a magnet he just took all the big artists. I, I will tell you what, what uh, Fania Records was. Fania Records uh, started in 1964 and uh, in 1968 these guys they were popular all over the world and well Fania All Stars uh, Celia Cruz was a member of Fania All Stars. Hector Lavou was a member and if you know Hector Lavou, if you don't know who Hector Lavou is just watch the movie El Cantante, it's a movie with uh, Jennifer Lopez and uh, Mark Anthony and well that's a very nice movie from the life from Hector Lavu and uh, well Hector Lavu, Ceo Feliciano, Ismael Miranda, Justin Betancourt and also Santana, the little brother of Santana, yes uh, George Santana, he was also a guitar player and he was also well in this nice good salsa band from the 70s and let me put some songs on, okay? Well, there it goes, okay, this is my favorite mp3 player, okay, but I don't have any sound. <laughs> This is a song from Ruben Blades and Ruben Bladers. Well, <laughs> this song, <laughs> listen to it. 
y un diente de oro va recorriendo la acera entera por quinta vez y en un saguán me trae y se da un trago para olvidar nice sounds this funny all stars and uh, well let us go to the back let us see what connection this thing has so here we have the back let me take away some and as you can see here you have the digital in one and two yeah and uh, record dot and play yeah you can put CD on analog or digital switch. Yeah, the same counts for that. It have a compute link, of course. Here and here you see the four speaker connections. And as you can see, the thing uses in Europe 400 watt of power. In America, it is more because I just wrote the I just read the instructions and I saw that in America it will use about 550 watts of power. Okay, and uh, this is the phono connection. You can see you have a switch here, MM or MC. Yeah, now it is on MM. If you push it, it is at MC. Line 1, line 2, line 3, and of course, this connection. So, very simple. Very simple from the back. And this is the tuner from the back. And that's also a very nice option from this tuner is that you can choose between your cable and your, well, your normal antenna, your outside antenna, your, your antenna line, if you want to go analog. This tuner was praised by a lot of people for its quality, its sounds quality and uh, well this is radio correct that is where the thing was bought so let's try to open the uh, the cover plate from the receiver to see what's inside of this thing okay so this is how it looks inside it was very easy to take away the cover plate and uh, well while I was playing this for a few hours I read on the internet that this thing comes can become very hot but this thing doesn't become very hot at all you know uh, I just put my hand it's a normal temperature and now oh, this is let me take away this very big filter caps the first thing you see in this receiver and uh, very very big well, this amp is really a fantastic building look at this Two transistors for each channel. Very nice. 
very very nice look at this it's the sideboard so this was my review about this very nice looking amp very good sounding perfect sounding amplifier with its matching tuner and uh, well, I only can say keep tuning on my station because very short very soon because I already have that amp I will have another top receiver of GVC in 2002 top receiver top of the line receiver from GVC and that one weighs 24 kilo I don't say anything more so keep tuning on my channel thanks for watching